Okay guys, so for our first problem, for the approximate analysis for statically indeterminate rigid frames is yung approximate method for vertical loads. So for this problem, we need to determine the internal moment at point A kung saan siya ay is rigidly fixed dito, which is caused by the vertical loads as shown in the figure. So dun sa beam AD mo, you have an applied load of 5 kN per meter. And dun sa beam FC, you have there a load of 9 kN per meter. So, the distance between the two columns is 8 meter. So, ano nga yung mga assumption natin kapag naggagawa tayo ng uh, analysis through vertical load? So, the first one, so, there is zero moment in the gear there. And point 0.1 L from the left support. So, again, sa unang video natin, di ba? So, ang mangyayari lang dito, guys, is magkaaroon ka ng cantilever eto magiging cantilever and then sa ibabaw ng cantilever is may nakapatong ka na simply supported na beam and take note that the gear there does not support an axial load okay so those are the following assumptions so yung isa naman is 0.1L lang din naman dito sa right side okay so ang ginawa ko drawing ko na siya ng ganito so gumawa na ako ng free body diagram para at hindi na masayang yung oras natin ayan so, kapag gina-isolate mo siya, ganito yung kaalabasan niya. Okay? So, again, di ba? Nagkaroon ka lang ng beam na naapatong dito. Okay? And if, you're, if, and if you're going to analyze that separately, so, ganito yung mangyayari sa kanya. So, ginawa ko, gumawa ko ng free body diagram na tatlo. So, disregard ko na lang itong portion na to, since symmetrical naman yan. Therefore, any loads na makukumpute natin dito will be just the same for this free body diagram. So, ginawa ko, this is free body diagram 1. Itong beam na naapatong dito. Ayan. And then ito, that is free body diagram 2. So again, alam naman natin yung mga distance na given nito. Okay? So ito pala, binigyan ko na rin pala dito. So this distance is 0.18. And then this one is 0.1 times L, which is 8. And then this one, so that is 8 minus twice nitong dalawa. Or ang pwedeng gawin mo, that is 0.8 lang ng distance na 8. Okay? Or this can be written as 0.8 of 8. So, ganun lang din naman yan. Binawasan lang ng dalawang point 0.1, kaya naging 0.8. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin is to solve for the free body diagram 1 and free body diagram 2. Para mahanap natin yung reaction niya dito sa point na to. Okay? So, gawin na lang natin. Ito. Ano ito? So, since again, wala naman tayong actual load na ina-analyze, since sabi nga doon sa ating assumption, the gear there does not support an actual force. So, wala kang actual force o yung horizontal component ng reaction mo dito. Okay? So, pangalan na lang natin to as, ano ba? So, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, papangalan na ko to sa point G, H, I, J. So, this is G, and this is H, and then itong baba, that is I, and this is J. So, pangalan na natin to as RG, and ito as RH. And this one, so pangalan na natin, diretso na natin na, Ri, and this one is also equals to Rj. So ang gagawin ko, magsasummation na lang ng forces vertical. So since symmetrical naman yan, uniform load, ganyan lang yung loading niya, under zero degree curve. So ang mangyayari lang, paghahatian lang ng dalawang to, yung load ng atumbas na mapapalabas natin dito. Okay? So again, this is just equivalent to 0 0.8 of 8. So to make the equation for this, so gagawin natin, uh, considering free body diagram 1, okay, so we, I could say that yung RG mo is just equals to RH. Huwag malilito ah. Ayoko, hindi ko na kasi gagawin na magmomoment na lang ako dito sa G para mahanap ko si H. So, ang gagawin ko, I will just take summation ng forces ng Y equals to 0. Or summation ng forces vertical equals to 0. So, since pareho nga lang kasi nang lalabas ito, so ang gawin natin, twice ng RG is equals to yung R niya nito, which is equals to 5 kN per meter times 0 0.8 of 8. Or RG and RH is just equals to so 5 times 0 0.8 times 8 divided by 2. 
So, that is equals lang sa 16 kilo newton. Okay, so, ba't ba natin kinuha yung mga reactions dito? So, if you have here an RG which is upward, so, ibig sabihin kapag pinatong mo na siya dito, ano mangyayari? Kung pataas dito, magkaaroon ka dito ng force na pababa na RG which has a value of 16 kilo newton. So, same rule apply for free body diagram 2. So, considering free body diagram 2, ano mangyayari sa kanya? So, ganun lang din yan. So, yung RI mo, so that is equals lang sa RJ. Okay? So, sinaw shortcut ko na guys ha, ginawa ko na lang ganito. Kasi sa habang pagtagal, o kahit mag-moment naman kayo, pareho lang naman talaga ng lalabas na sagot. So, by experience, kahit titigan mo lang yan, alam natin na pag kinuha mo lang area nito, tapos i-divide mo ng 2, yun ang reaction para dito sa dalawang to. Okay? So, again, I will take summation of forces ng Y, o vertical, equals to 0. So, 2 RI, so since dalawa yan, so equals to yung area nito, or that is equals to 0 0.8 times 8 times the uniform load na 9. Or R1 is equivalent lang sa 0 0.8 times 8 times 9 by 2, or that is equals to 28.8 kilo newton. So, again, if consider mo ulit yung original diagram, so since meron ka ditong reaction na pataas, Kapag kinonsider mo yung free body diagram, hindi kong pataas dito, tumikit equilibrium, pababa ito. Okay? Or that is equal to 28.8 kilo newton. And then knowing that the distance from the center of the column hanggang sa force na yun is equal sa an? Tama. That is equal to 0 0.1 ng 8 or that is equivalent to 0 0.8. Okay. So with that, so since meron na tayong mga forces dito, uh, we can now solve for the reaction or the moment. Ano bang pinapanap sa problem natin? So, browse ko lang ha. So, determine the internal moment at A caused by the vertical loading. So, moment lang pala yung pinapahanap. Okay? So, to solve for the moment, so, ganyan na lang natin. So, moment at A. Yan. So, mahanap natin yung moment at A. So, when we take moment at point A, considering these forces, the equation will be, so, this time, we will now consider free body diagram 3. Okay, so, by taking summation ng moment at point A equals to 0, so that will be MA. Ayan. So, diba, ito lang yung uh, counterclockwise. So, itong mga to, makapag-produce na ng clockwise. So, it equals ko na lang. Transpose sa abila, tumikit yung positive. So, unahin ko muna itong uniform load na to, ah. So, 5 multiply by the length na 0 0.8 and then times 0 0.8 over and then, plus, yung reaction nitong RG, so nung nilipad nga natin dito, naging pababa, so plus 16 times 0 0.8, okay? So, baba tayo. So, plus, yung uniform load na 9, so plus 9 times the span, yung 0 0.1L or 0 0.8 times, times 0 0.8 over 2, and then plus 28.8 kN multiplied by the distance of 0 0.8 So, if you're If ipapahanap sa inyo yung moment at B Pareho lang sila ng value ng moment A Ano? Ang mangyayari lang, pabaligtad Ano? Or, the answer for moment at A Can be solved as 5 times 0 0.8 Squared divided by 2 Plus 16 times 0 0.8 Plus 9 Times 0 0.8 squared divided by 2 Plus 28.8 Times 0 0.8 Or the answer or the moment for point A is 40.32 kilonewton meter. Okay guys, so check lang natin sa ating correction. Okay, so tama naman. So, ganun lang yan. Again, step by step, una, gagawa nga ng free body diagram. Again, ang uh, cantilever portion mo, itong part na to, so yung span niya, coming from the center of the column, hanggang doon sa distance na yan, that is 0.1L. Ganun lang din yung gagawin mo sa abila. Magagawa ka ng cantilever, kung saan yung length niya, from the center of the column is 0 0.18 also. And then, doon sa antilever na mga yan, sa, sa dalawang antilever na yan, may nakapatong sa kanya na simply supported beam. So, if this is 0 0.1L, 0 0.1L, therefore, the span of this is just equals to 0 0.8 ng L. Okay? So, next step, hatiin mo sa free body diagram, and then, ang unahin mo lagi is yung nakapatong na beam para mahanap mo yung reaction niya, kung saan yung reaction is gagamitin mo para makubha yung moment dun sa support or dun sa fixed support which is point A okay 
So kung dito is pataas, dito magiging pababa. Ano? And then if meron ano mga reaction dito, nakuha mo na yung mga reaction dito. So simply, moment ka lang dito sa point A. Ano? So, ayun. So, let's solve another problem para mas maunawaan niyo. Okay guys, so for our next problem, ayan, medyo complicated lang ng konti. Pero madali lang naman to. Ano, ganun lang din yung approach mo. So, as long as alam mo yung tatlong assumption, uh, madali mo naman ngayon sa tong problem na to. So, for this problem, determine, so approximately, the internal moment at point A and B caused by the vertical loads. So, dito sa beam I, J, K, L mo, meron kang uniform load with a magnitude of 3 kN per meter. Dito sa beam HG, meron kang vertical loading na 5 kN per meter, uniform load, same as for beam FE. So, 5 kN per meter din. Okay, so the span of these three frames, so that is 3 at 8 meter. So, the three span has a length of 8 meter. So, again, yung length mo is coming from center to center ng bawat column. So, laging ganun yung assumption, eh? Or, laging ganun yung i-consider mo na length. Again, that is center to center ng bawat column. So, kung ang ibigay sa inyo is clear distance or yung distance between the two beam, so, kailangan mong i-add yung kalahati ng thickness ng column. Pwede kasi mangyari, magkakaiba yung size ng column mo. Ano? And ang ibigay sa yung distance is yung clear distance na yan. Ano? Hindi kasama yung gitna ng iyong column. So, tandaan na, again, yung distance L is the center to center ng bawat column. Okay, so para mas madalis lang tayo, so ang ginawa ko, gumawa na ulit ako ng separate na free body diagram. Okay? So ang ginawa ko, kalahati na lang yung enunciator ko hanggang dito na lang. Since itong portion naman na to is just the reflection o yung mirror lang nitong portion na to. And ang pinapahanap lang din naman sa atin is yung moment at A and yung moment at point B. So ang ginawa ko, ito na lang. Ayan, so... Dibe lang ko muna pala since nagkaroon tayo ng mga additional points. So, saan tayo natapos dito? I, J, K, L. So, label lang natin to as point M. So, this is M. This is N. This is O. P. And this is Q. This is R. This is S. And this is T. Okay, guys. So, ang unahin ulit natin ay yung mga beam. Okay? So, unahin muna natin Okay, so <laughs> So again, this is 8, no? So hindi ko pa pala nasulat yung mga distances So Ano lang natin to So this is point 1 ng 8 Ayan So ito, ganun lang din, point 1 ng 8 And ito, this is point 8 of 8 Okay Dito is 0 0.1 ng 8. Dumaan na motor, maingay. This is 0 0.8 ng 8. And this is also 0 0.1 ng 8. Okay, so since pare-pareho lang naman sila ng span, so ito, 0 0.1 ng 8 lang din. And then ito, 0 0.8 ng 8 lang din. Okay? Oh! So mali pala ako ng drawing dito. So wala na to ha? So we will disregard this portion. Napasarap ako ng pagdodrawing. Okay? So, wala yan, ha? So, ito lang. Okay? Buti na ito ko agad. Ano? Okay, so, ang unahin natin, guys, is ito. Uh, again, hati-hatiin natin siya to separate free body diagrams. But, by observation alone, uh, kung mapapansin nyo kasi, itong dalawa is pareho lang. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, isa na lang yan. pag natin. So, that is, this, uh, this portion, this beam, and this beam, pangalan na natin siya as free body diagram 1. Okay? Anong ibang kauli ng bolt eh? So, ito, para dito, and para dito. Okay? So, next, this uh, beam, ito, so pangalan na natin siya as FBD2. Ano ba sabi doon sa assumption? Beam ako ng beam, para, pero sinabi doon sa lecture is girder pala siya. Okay, so this girder is free body diagram 2. And then, ito may cantilever na to. So, pangalan na natin siya as FBD 3. And ito, this will be our free body diagram 4. Okay? So, let's start with the uh, free body diagram 1. Yung beam, or yung girder na MN at saka OP. Okay? So, para dun, so considering free body diagram 1. 
So, mangyayari lang naman dyan, that is just... Ayan, drinawing ko pa pala. So, we have a uniform number of 3 kN per meter. And with a span of 0 0.8 of 8. So, this is M and this is N. Again, M and N is equals so as for O and P. Okay, so in short, RM is equals to RN is equals to RO and then equals to RP. Analysis na lang yan na, tinititigan lang natin. Kasi since uniform loading nga lang ulit siya, na rectangular yung shape ng loading or zero degree curve, equal lang lagi yung reaction niya. Ano? So in short, kapag nagsummation tayo ng forces ng Y, assuming upward direction is positive, o summation of forces vertical, so 2RM is equal to 3 times 0 0.8 times 8. Or RM is equivalent lang sa 3 times 0 0.8 times 8 divided by 2. Or that is equals to 9.6 kilo newton. Again, equals lang yung apat na yan. Okay? Next, we will now consider this free body diagram 2. Okay? So, considering free body diagram 2. So, huwag na natin drawing. Ano na lang, diretso. Or just consider this beam or this gear there. Okay? Beam ako ng beam eh. Okay, so in short, that is RQ is equals lang sa R sub R. Okay? Or when we take summation of forces Y or summation of forces vertical equals to 0. So 2RQ is equals to 5 times 0 0.8 times 8. Or RQ is equals lang sa, so palta na lang natin to. Palta natin to ng 5. So that will be equals to 16 kilo newton. Okay guys, so since meron na tayong R, Value ng RM and RQ, uh, we can now consider this cantilever portion or yung FBD4 and yung FBD3. So, alin ang gusto nyo unahin natin? Unahin muna natin to, okay? So, drawing ko na lang para hindi malito. So, ang gawin ko ano na lang ha? Uh, stick figure na lang. So, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you have here a uniform load na 3 kN per meter. And then sa ibabaw niyan, meron kang concentrated load. So ano yung nakapatong sa kanya? M. So that is 9.6. And ito, you have a uniform load of 5 kN per meter. And then a concentrated load, yung RQ, which is equivalent to 16 kN. And then yung distance niya, ayan. So this distance is equal to 0 0.1 of 8. So ganun lang ulit, moment tayo dito. So moment at A, so... Considering moment at point A, so meron ka dito magiging reaction o internal moment yung pinapanap sa problem. Moment at A, so that is equal to MA. So since count, count clockwise na yung mga forces na yan, makroproduce na yan, so minus. So transpose ko sa bila to make it in positive. So let's start with 3. 3 kN per meter. So ito, equals na lang natin para hindi mahaba sa equation. So 0 0.1 times 8, so that is equal to 0.8. Kinawag ko talaga. So 0 0.8 so, times 0 0.8 over 2. Okay? And then, plus yung concentrated load na 9.6 times 0 0.8. And sa baba, meron kang 5. So, plus 5 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 over 2. Guys, kapag ganitong uniform load ay nag-moment nag, uh, tayo, so tip lang, ba kasi magulit kayo kapag kay Sir Drake na. Ito kasi dinadiretso na namin. Yung uniform load, multiply yung span niya, 0.8, tapos squared na lang namin over 2. So, ganun lang din naman yun. Ano? So, baka lang ayaw yung mabigla kapag dinaretso na ganito. Ha? So, ganun lang yun. Sinimplify agad. So, diretso agad. Shortcut. Okay. So, nasa na tayo? So, yung concentrated load. So, plus 16 and then times 0 0.8. Okay. So, with that, you will have the value for moment at A. So, dito na lang isulat. So, pindot lang natin. Is it 3 times 0 0.8 squared divided by 2 plus 9.6 times 0 0.8 plus 5 times 0 0.8 squared divided by 2 plus 16 times 0 0.8. So, that is equivalent to 23.04 kN. So, ito rin ba yung sagot natin kanina? And then, para doon sa moment B, so, just take or consider this free body diagram 3. So, ang gawin ko, i-drawing ko na lang ulit. Again, strict figure na lang ha. Okay, so, ano ba makikita natin doon? 
Ayan. So, meron ka ditong uniform load. So, dito, ganun din. So, ito naka-fix. Ayan, taas ko lang. So, this is point B. And then... Ayan. Oops, wala na nga pala to. So, ito. Okay, so... Meron ka dito na... RN. So, equals nga siya sa 9.6... Ayan. And RO. So, 9.6. Actually, guys, ano to eh. Moment kasi tayo dito. Kung mapapansin mo, equal siya. Or parang na magiging mangyayari, mirror siya. Or in short, di ba ito, if itong mga forces na tayo consider mo, mag-reproduce siya ng counterclockwise moment. And kapag itong consider mo, magiging clockwise. So, in short, ang pwede natin gawin dito, i-cancel na natin siya. Kasi magsisiro yan eh. Magkukontrahan sila, eh, pareho lang naman sila ng value. So, that is automatically equals to zero. So, para hindi na humaba yung equation natin, cancel na agad natin yan. Okay? And then ito, so, RR. Ano ba yung RR? Ayun, so 16. So, that is 16 kilonewton. And then, meron kang uniform load na 5 kilonewton per meter. Okay? So, if that is the case, so ito, pag ganito dapat yung ating moment dito sa point B na to. Okay, so ganyan yung magiging internal force niya. Or in short, assuming that clockwise direction moment at point B is positive equals to zero, therefore the equation will be MB is equals to, so again, the span of this is equals lang sa 0 0.8. So unahin natin yung uniform load, so that is 5 times 0 0.8, okay lang, squared over 2. And then plus 16 times 0 0.8, so equals... Or that will be 5 times 0 0.8 squared divided by 2 plus 16 times 0 0.8. So that is equivalent to 14.4 kilonewton meter. Okay guys, so that is the answer para do sa internal forces acting at uh, point A and point B. So next problem natin or will be all about the portal method. Okay, so see you on our next video.